every form of life including plants started from water and slowly started moving towards land but this transition from water to land was not a smooth ride organisms had to adapt to every challenge that was thrown at them one such challenge was the risk of dehydration of the developing embryo after fertilization in aquatic environments thanks to all the water an embryo is never in the danger of drying out in addition the embryo also receives the necessary water and nutrients from the surrounding environment itself but on the land none of this is possible the simpler land plants like bryophytes and pteridophytes overcame this by thriving in the wetter parts of the land but moving towards the drier parts of the land was still a challenge to solve this particular challenge seeds evolved the seeds covered the embryo in a moist environment and stored the necessary nutrients therefore the plants who could bear seeds were successfully adapted to terrestrial conditions based on the ability to bear seeds the kingdom plantae subdivided into two sub kingdoms cryptogams and phanerogams cryptogams include those plants which do not produce seeds and phanerogams include seed bearing plants now in phanerogams seeds can occur in two ways one it can be covered by an ovary which then develops into a fruit these are the seeds we come across a lot for example fruits like apples mangoes and oranges but there is a second way in which seeds can occur they develop without being enclosed by an ovary or in other words without being enclosed by a fruit in such cases they develop on the surface of a scale or leaf like structures like in pine trees and deodar trees though you might not be very familiar with these kind of seeds these seeds evolved first and the seeds enclosed in fruits evolved later now the plant which produces seeds that are naked and not enclosed by an ovary are called gymnosperms In Greek, gymnos means naked and sperma means seed. Hence the term gymnosperms. So the gymnosperm is the division of kingdom plantae which includes all the plants that bear seeds but naked ones. They possess a well-developed vascular system for transportation of food and water. And as we saw earlier, some common examples of gymnosperms are pine and deodar, both of which are large woody plants. In fact, gymnosperms are mostly woody plants. ranging from shrubs to trees they also have true roots stems and leaves they also tend to retain their green leaves throughout the year in other words they are evergreen also they tend to live for a really really long time which is why they are called perennial fun fact the oldest tree a bristle cone pine is a gymnosperm while we are talking about the s trees let's also take a moment and talk about the tallest tree on earth nicknamed hyperion It is a coastal redwood tree and also a gymnosperm. With that fun fact, we come to the end of this session. Let's recap what we learned. When aquatic plants evolved to land plants, there was a danger of embryo drying out. To protect the embryo from drying, seeds evolved. The plants which produce seeds are called phanerogams, whereas cryptogams include those plants which do not produce seeds. In phanerogams, The plants which produce naked seeds are called gymnosperms. They possess vascular system for transportation of water and food. Examples of gymnosperms are pine and deodar. Gymnosperms have true roots, stems and leaves. They range from shrubs to trees. I hope you had fun learning about gymnosperms. See you in next session.